head at that end, tail at that end. Whether it's bones or brothers, each one has a story. For flippers, five fingers. But they only really make sense side by side. You know, twins, you, you do everything together. We were like a team. Our parents would take us fossil collecting. They'd let us go off in Ontario when we were kids, and uh, that kind of got us hooked. Pat Trask and his brother Mike spent decades digging through the dirt, hoping history might one day reveal itself. It was a beautiful autumn day, early November. And in 1988, it finally happened. That particular day, we found something totally unexpected. We found the bones of an elasmosaur. They were just looking for fossils. You know, finding the, the, the usual suspects, clams, snails, crabs, ammonites. They knew they were out there, but they didn't know about these big sea monsters. Nobody did. The fossils appeared to be a new species of an elasmosaur, an extinct marine reptile that lived roughly 85 million years ago. But it would take Mike's other half, discovering a well-preserved juvenile skeleton, to support the claim. And between the two specimens, uh, the scientists could ascertain the fact that they are different to all the rest of the elasmosaurs in the world. Now, after 37 years of study, the 12-meter-long voracious predator has been confirmed. A paper published in the Journal of Systematic Paleontology naming it Trascosaurus sandre, in honor of Mike and the Trask family. But the public announcement, bittersweet. A moment millions of years in the making, a few days too late. My brother Mike passed away May 15th. It's pretty sad. But Pat made sure his twin was aware of the recognition. We had a draft copy of that press release, and I framed it and showed it to him. And he, he got it. He knew that he was being honored with that name. He hasn't just made history. Like these bones, he's now forever a part of it. So this is a big tribute um, to that day in 1988. Um, just looking for fossils. Kylie Stanton, Global News.